buddy. Thinking about another contest? Yeah, well, anything but open mic night. This ain't American Idol. <laughs> Nothing like that. Uh, I want to pick a theme for the playlist each night. Okay, for instance, start with Dean Martin's Door is Still Open to My Heart. Then we go into number by Bud Powell, followed by Neil Diamond's Cherry Cherry. Get the theme. Yeah. Sounds like songs to lose the under 30 crowd by. Month of April. And April's name comes from the Latin term aparire, as in to open. Door is still open to my heart. What opens in April? Flower buds. Bud Powell. April's birthstone. Diamond. As a nil diamond. <laughs> Practically gave that one to you. But I suppose we got an exception tonight. He was unconscious uh, when the paramedics arrived on the scene. They found no identification on him. Doesn't match any of the missing persons reports within the Northwest. We're just hoping that someone out there can help. And if you have any information regarding this unidentified accident victim, you're asked to call your local authorities or call the Northern Washington Sheriff's Department at 509-555-0120. Dugan? His name's Jay Dugan. My brother. We were eight. I lifted my dad's penknife, and we sliced our hands open, and we shook on it. We sealed the deal. We became blood brothers. Ancient Indian ritual, signifying the combination of two life forces. You know, it may sound cornball, but we took that oath to heart for the next 20 years. Brothers, you know, we were inseparable. We enlisted together. Served all the way through special forces. Sorry. When was the last time you heard from him? Long time. We fell out of touch. Picture. Yeah, it was taken in Colombia about a million years ago. No. I see in black and white. So? Your friend. I see him in color. Jenny Nichols, six-year-old kidnapping victim, last fall. Yeah, it's your first case, right? First person I saw in color. Figured maybe she was a link to my past, you know. Maybe I was her uncle, father. Yeah, I remember. No luck. Teresa, well, maybe that's her name. The second one. Yeah, man, she merits all 64 colors in the box. She called out to me from the ferry. Can't explain it. There's some kind of connection in her voice, her face. Something. And now a long lost of mine. Yeah. <laughs> Can't just be misfiring optic nerves. There has to be more to this. Man, this is some kind of six degrees. You know what? Uh, maybe you'll know if we all fit together somehow, like uh, pieces to a jigsaw puzzle. Look, here's what I can tell you about Jay Dugan. He's born in Indiana, loves the who, blondes with 30 miles in the fighting Irish. Used to get drunk and streak the girls' locker room. Look, if you want to go by yourself, I can come later. Look, give me a break, Mr. Technicolor. The way things look, Jay may turn out to be as important to you as he is to me. Besides, you're driving while I sleep. Hi. Afternoon. 
And we're looking for Sheriff Ash. His deputy said we could find him here. And you are? Digger. I called about the accident. Digger, huh? That's an interesting name. You are? John Doe. Digger and John Doe. Don't ask. Okay. Well, as it is, boys, I'm afraid I have some, uh, well, unfortunate news. Yeah, that's Jay Dugan. Well, I guess we can call off the media circus now. Color's gone. Shattered tibia, massive hemorrhaging around the ribs. Judging from the length and depth of the scratches to the shoulder, I'd say he was hit by a car traveling 50 miles an hour. Where's his personal effects? Not much to speak of, are you? Hmm. Interesting. What, ground covering? Could be aluminum oxide. One of the few everyday substances that can scratch glass. Ah. Uh, tell us where he was running from. Exactly what kind of line of work are you in, anyway? I, uh, work for the Seattle Metro PD. Uh huh. So you think you can just waltz in here? Actually, I never would have spotted that without your coroner's fine handiwork. He correctly tagged the victim's footwear. Prescribed as in the NFC postmortem handbook. He should have had a pendant. Special Forces Command medallion like this. Where is it? That's everything we found. He never would have taken it off. Well, look at him. Probably pawned it for a six pack. I beg your pardon. Look, I don't have much time for these homeless folks. They can stay in the city as far as I'm concerned, bringing nothing but trouble. You got a problem, friend? You're talking about a hero, friend. No, I gotta make my round. You like some time alone? You just make sure he gets taken care of properly, you hear me? shot rang out. The kid was face down in the dirt. Pack of explosives on his back. The detonator in his hand. Twenty more feet and he would have wiped out my entire unit. Jay Dugan shot him. I owed him, John. He was my friend. And I deserted him. Digger, you didn't desert him. No, I did. Ten years ago, I was in Florida. I got a message from Jay on my answering machine. I was gonna call him back. I wanted to. But I didn't. I mean, I knew he was reaching out, that he wanted to talk. But I just couldn't deal with it. I guess I just needed to keep my past in the past. Sorry. Oh, 
Looks like this may all end up a dead end for you, too. Digger. What? There. You see it in color. You're kidding. Just faded. I wonder if that happens when they die. No genius free from some tincture of madness. Lucius Aeneas Seneca, Stoic Roman philosopher. You know this place? Only because of me. A privately run institute that cares for gifted individuals who suffered emotional or mental breakdowns. Two Nobel Prize winners ended up here. Now you talk about your highs and lows. Aluminum oxide. This is undoing some boots. Must have got it when it was climbing out. I can't believe he ended up in a place like this. May I help you? Yeah, we were uh, looking for the front gate, sir. I'll save you the shoe leather. Visiting hours are Mondays and Fridays. Uh, no, we, uh, we don't want to speak to a patient. We want to speak to someone in charge. Uh, to do that, you'll have to make an appointment. And, you know, we were hoping that maybe somebody would uh, offer to give us a guided tour of the place. I'm sorry, sir. I take you myself. It was up to me. But we need to protect the confidentiality of our patients. You understand? Sure. I, I think we have everything we need. Consistent with head on trauma from the car. Except uh, teeth cracked, strange enamel, it's gone. What do you think from the accident? No. This damage is older, it's more indicative of huh, tongue, it's pierced. What the hell? John, he was tagged. Five. None of this is making any sense. What are you doing? You know, we pride ourselves on being pretty easy going around here, but I think you two have had a little more than your share of rope. I'm gonna ask you again, what are you doing? I found this out near the scene of the accident. I figured nobody would mind if I put it on him myself. Heard you were poking around the Seneca Institute today. Care to tell me why? Sure. We believe Dugan was a patient there. Escaped and was killed in the process. Really? Any proof? System was doped up with psychiatric drugs. His tracks led away from the facility. I see. No, I don't think you see anything, Sheriff. Now, my friend here is dead, and the circumstances are less than squeaky. Now, why was he running? And what the hell were they doing to him? You mind telling me when you're gonna do your freaking job? This is their patient list. I got a warrant for it this afternoon. And I even had them pull all the rolls for the past five years. Dugan was never there. How do you excuse me? I have to go do my freaking job. I hate small towns. We're missing a piece somewhere. Dude, we're missing the whole puzzle. I'm telling you right now, Jay wasn't crazy. Besides you, he's the smartest guy I ever knew. How smart? Third eye, man. He always knew when the enemy was right around the corner. Look, there's got to be a reason why I'm seeing him in color. There has to be. What? Someone's out there. Hey! Still no word from Sh 
Sheriff Ash? Oh yeah, what a surprise. A couple of big city boys like us messing around in his small town. Something's going on at that institute. Something they don't want us figuring out. Director's office, please. Dr. Binning. This is Dr. Francis Children calling from the Yale Department of Psychiatry. I am attending a medical conference in Olympia, and a colleague there asked me to give my opinion on a patient. I was hoping I could use your facilities. This afternoon. Fantastic. Bye. We're in. Well, congratulations. You're a triple PhD. Psychiatry, pharmacology, and neuroscience. <laughs> Good stuff. Anyway, I hacked into the zoning board. I pulled up the floor plan to the Seneca. And it's a monster of a place. Three stories, four separate wings. I mean, even with both of us canvassing, we'd be hard-pressed to get through the whole thing. All we have to do now is prove Dugan was there. Yeah, and why? Ready, psycho? Oh, yeah. Dr. Children, I'm Dr. Mark Binney. I'm the director of the Seneca Institute. Dr. Binney, yes, thank you for your hospitality in such short notice. You're not the Dr. Children I saw speak at the Dallas conference. No. You've lost weight. Cut down the carbs. Uh, speaking of conferences, if I uh, didn't take that speaking engagement, I never would have heard of the Seneca Institute. Uh, not many have. Our organization services a very specific community. No one within these walls has an IQ less than 165. Impress the facility. Um, why isn't your east wing included on the map? Oh, there are several research groups that operate under our umbrella organization. Many consider their work to be uh, quite secret. Hmm. If you don't mind, I'd like to get Mr. Vaughn into an examination room so I can begin my evaluation. I'm, I'm so sorry, Dr. Children. Our bylaws require a meeting with the executive board before an outside doctor begins work at Seneca. Oh. Lucky for you. One of our board members is Dr. Wilma Babb. Apparently you studied with Dr. Babb at uh, Hartford. Dr. Babb. <clears throat> Of course. Uh, <clears throat> well, I thought we could drop by and see her right away. Sure, I'd love to. I uh, should check with my office first. <laughs> of course. I'll see that uh, Mr. Vaughn is settled into a room. Um, early diagnosis, severe personality disorder with schizoaffective tendencies with a eagerness to bite. Fascinating. I'll check back in a few minutes. Bye, Mr. Vaughn. Be good. So what's this nut job in for? Who knows? I've seen one crackpot seen them all. What do you say, buddy? <laughs> Come on. David stood for Ward 5. I need to get in there. All right, I'm on it. This Lyle. Lyle, this is Bob down in maintenance. Listen, guy, we're having a big problem with the phone lines. I need you to check the jack underneath your desk. And there should be one or two inputs there. 
Yeah, there's no jacks under here. This is Lyle, I'm telling you it's dead. Begin remote viewing. They have one minute. They are not viewing the same locations. Increase the lorazepam dosage. Do it. Who's there? Do they want me now? Who are you? Why are you here? My name's John. I'm a visiting doctor. I know all the doctors here. You're no doctor. You're, you're here to take me away. No. Wait, wait, wait. No, see. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do, do my, my work now, see? See? Here. Here. See? See here. How, how, how did you... See? You can hide things, but I'll find them. Who are you? Michael. Please. Please, please don't take me away. Michael. Do you know me? No. No. How did you draw him? I'm trying to, to, to see. How, Michael? How? No, 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 I'm gonna tell the enemy nothing. All right, Mr. Bob. Mr. Bob. Michael, somebody in this ward died. Jay. This is Dr. Bigger. We have a roaming patient. All staff go to lockdown mode. I repeat, we have a roaming patient. I have to get you out of here. Please. please Michael, please, Michael, please, Michael, please, trust me. Why? Forget what I said about the lack of security. Who's he? I see him in color. Are you kidding me? It's like a hornet's nest out there. We'll be lucky to get one of us out unnoticed. Good. Let them notice us. 
situation's under control. No more roaming Mr. Vaughn. <laughs> Seneca, Ward 5. I don't remember like you remember. I hear smells, feel sounds and shadows. These are my memories you wouldn't understand. I can try. You're just a voice. A ghost. Would you trust a ghost to tell it your secrets? Michael, I believe you and I are connected somehow. Why? You can't see, but I can see something in you. I woke up in the hospital. They told me I was 15, that an infection had spread to my, my brain. It's okay. Is that how you lost your sight? That's how I lost everything. My family was gone. I didn't know where or why. I could make the nurses so afraid. I could see where they hid their cigarettes to broom closet where they played in the dark with the doctors I saw but I couldn't see you're psychic everybody calls it something different they picked me to be a part of I can't see it, but I know what it looks like. It's fine, I'm used to it. Michael, what is Ward 5? It's a program for the special ones, the ones that have the gift. The orphans, the junkies, the homeless. Jay? Jay. I like Jay. We were in the group with the new lady in group what group we have to see together or we can't see the whole picture it takes all of us we have to we have to focus our energy each drawing a different part of the chosen target what target whatever they're looking for sometimes it's sometimes it's people sometimes it's Things changes. Who chooses the target? Who are they? I don't know. Michael, who exactly are you spying on? What were you looking for? Enemy satellites? Hidden weapons? Coordinates? I need, I need my drink. I can't... Who's watching? What do you mean? Somebody's watching. Where? The star. The star. Oh boy. You see? 
CCD spy camera. 2500. Foot range. Whoever's watching, they're close. Michael, stay here. Lock the door. We start breaking in trucks. Wait, West Wind paper products. Condensation. The AC units. Now, why are condition a truck full of paper? Yeah. You're looking well, Mr. Doe. You know this guy? Yeah, Sam. NSA. So he says. Why are you watching me? I said I'd be close. Now you know I'm not a liar. You work for the NSA. By definition, you're a liar. So what's your interest in the Seneca Institute? Hey, just making polite conversation. Doll, I'm curious as to why you'd be poking around Ward 5. Your uh, crazy act was quite convincing, by the way. You just tipped your hand, pal. Curiosity equals involvement when it comes to guys like you. That place, that's just another little mess you government boys made, isn't it? The government has nothing to do with it. Sit down! Boy. Sit down! Boy. Now don't give me any of that plausible deniability crap. Now my friend died out there. So you better start talking. Okay? Okay. Stefano Moretti. The software billionaire. Interest in artificial intelligence. He also launched a scientific study into the plausibility of remote viewing. First, he needed a pool of candidates, so he created the Seneca Institute. A place where fallen geniuses with malleable minds could come and find rest. However, in reality, it was conceived as a feeder system for the real operation. Ward 5. Those secretly selected for the program showed signs of innate psychic ability. In Ward 5, they were trained to harness these gifts to uh, collectively unearth top secret information through the mind's eye. Remote viewing and the return on your investment. We terminated the contract six years ago when the results were less than convincing. We ordered the release of all participants, destruction of all files. Yeah, well, obviously, somebody decided to keep them open. Yes. There's been a heightened chatter among suspected terrorist organizations concerning this Ward 5. We think someone could be funding an operation to threaten our national security. Discern who knows what. Uh, location of our missile silos, identities of undercover CIA operatives. What terrorist groups? I've, I've told you all I can. Phoenix crew. Bastards that killed Karen and keep coming after you. The Phoenix group is a possibility. But there are a number of possibilities. Care to help follow the trail, John? You don't listen, do you? All I know about you is you keep turning up at the wrong place at the wrong time. As far as I can tell, you work for Phoenix. Have a nice day. Where's Michael? What? We can't do that. Choose.
Break the key off in the lock. Move! Begin a containment. Couldn't get enough of me. Thank God. What the hell are you doing here? Like I said, I'm always around. Good thing, too. The staff did a head count. Looks like everybody's all right. Where's Michael? He's gone. Offices in Ward 5. Wire transfer receipt from the Nietzsche and Liberation Army. Terrorist group. Cells throughout Asia. Appears they were using the remote viewers to find the exact location of six train cars of lost nuclear waste. A recipe for dirty bomb. Only to pay through the nose from the looks of it. When they found out we were onto them, they destroyed everything, including Michael. So, it wasn't Phoenix. We're ruling them out. Are you sure? Honestly? Can't ever be too sure of anything in my line of work. You saved my life. Why? You're a precious commodity, Mr. Doe. If you ever reconsider, our offer still stands. To join the NSA.
Great to be home. Say that again. Ah. Prominently on display for a guy who wants to leave his past and his past. That's a reminder of an unpaid debt. Digger, you can't hold yourself responsible. Wise man once told me, guilt's okay for a dip. But you wallow in it, you're done for. I know. That's why I'm gonna do for you what I should have done for Jay. I know you're on a mission, John. I've seen how hard it's been for you. How many obstacles you've had to pass through. That's why from now on, no matter what you do, you're not gonna be doing it alone. That's my promise. And Jay's legacy. Thanks, Digger. season finale. Start right now. All the questions. Tommy! All the mystery. You will complete your destiny. Will all lead up to this. You've got something they want. Whether you know it or not, whether you like it or not. It's the season finale that could finally answer. No! Alive! Who is John Doe? What do you want from me? The ending <laughs> will leave you breathless. John Doe, after Fastlane, next week on Fox Season Finale.